Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Bethlehem School District. This is 6 Brookview Ave in Delmar. This is a three bedroom, two full bath, traditional style home, one and a half story, uh, I guess you could call it. Um, it is a B-level property, so it's a move-in ready property that, fee that does have the ability to improve the equity of the home. Uh, if you were to make some updates to the property. Uh, well, square feet, that's what I, I knew I was forgetting something. It's just under 1,700 square feet, total square footage of the house. So we'll see all that when we go through the walkthrough. So if you're anyone you know or thinking about selling your home, now's the time to give me a call. You can see the end of the video for my contact information, or you can head to my Facebook page and get my contact information there. So we'll go ahead, we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we're here today in Bethlehem School District. This is 6 Brookview Ave in Delmar. This is a three bedroom, two full bath. Uh, I think it would be a Cape Cod. I call it a traditional style. Traditional style is what you say when you don't know what it is. Uh, but I feel like it would be a Cape Cod. Maybe Cape Cod has to have uh, eaves in the second story. I don't know. They're all made up anyway. Three bedrooms, two full baths, uh, just under 1,700 square feet. It's a B-level property, so move-in ready. It has the ability for you to improve the equity if you were to make some updates. So we've got hardwood floors throughout pretty much the whole home. We enter into the home into the, uh, call this a living room area here we've got a gas fireplace and through the living room we have the dining room got some built-in corner cabinets overhead chandelier Continuing through the dining room, we enter into the kitchen area. So we've got space for a dishwasher, uh, electric oven with range, overhead microwave, and a refrigerator here. We do have a tile backsplash. Then we've got you don't get in the camera on purpose, you goof. We've got a little eat-in area here. So we have the formal dining room, but then we've got an additional eat-in space here. Uh, a little bit of a peninsula area. And then we've got the larger room here, which could be used for multiple things. I think the way this had been set up you can see that they've got some built-in speakers into this room. Uh, you can see the cable wire that was sitting on the floor. I think this was probably a family room, the way they had it set up. Could be used as an additional e uh, eating area, a second dime, the informal dining room. Uh, probably a lot of options for what this could be used for. <clears throat> Uh, we'll head outside now. So here in the backyard, so we've got the pressure treated deck here. Stepping down into a larger area. Got some landscaping here. Uh, we've got some azalea bushes. That kind of looks like a rhododendron over there in the back. Uh, here we have the back of the garage. So entrance to the garage is there. One car garage. It's attached, but there's no door into the house. So the door that you would have would go would be there going through the back deck. Got a small a shed in the back. I call it a shed. That could be a playhouse. A she shed. 
Um, there's, <laughs> it doesn't have big doors on it. So it's got a ramp going up into it. You could have a push lawn mower in there. Uh, I mean, you could use it for anything that you wanted, I suppose, but. And you can see there's some other, uh, there's some other landscaping around here. Fire pit. All right, come on. What? I don't know, it might be a playhouse. I tell grandma that? Yes, I told my camera that. And did you say goodbye for now? <laughs> no, I didn't say goodbye for now. We're not at the end of the video yet. <clears throat> uh, here we have a bedroom on the first floor. So we're back to the hardwood. Got a closet here. So heading toward the upstairs, but not quite. We have the laundry room. <clears throat> and then through the laundry room, we have the shared bath on the first floor. So we've got the toilet immediately coming in. A lot of cabinets here. Uh, dual sinks for the vanity. Uh, we've got standalone tub. And then we have the tiled uh, walk-in shower, overhead lighting, fan right there. Now we'll head upstairs. So one and a half story, Cape Cod, whichever. You can see we've got the slanted ceilings. So here we have the first of the two bedrooms. We've got hardwood floor. This is not original hardwood floor, but we do have hardwood floor up here on the second floor. We've got a large closet here. <clears throat> That's all a single closet. Then heading towards the second bedroom, we walk through the second full bath. So we've got a tile floor here. We've got the vanity on the toilet on this side of the hallway. And then on the other side of the hallway, we have a walk-in tiled shower. Again, with the overhead lighting and fan right above. And so continuing through the bathroom, we have the second bedroom with the same hardwood floor that we had in the rest of the second floor. All right, so that concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that was everything. So three bedrooms, two full baths, uh, just under 1,700 square feet, B-level property, move-in ready condition, and you have the opportunity to make some updates and improve the equity of the home. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I, I, did, I was gonna go down the basement and I forgot. Um, so there is a basement, it's an unfinished basement. It's an older property, 1940 something. Um, older property, so I don't know if it's really a finishable basement. They've got some carpet down there uh, in some of the sections, so they've got a spot that they were obviously using as some sort of recreation room or anything like that. It's mostly unfinished. Um, it's a shorter ceiling. So I, I think it would, I don't, I wouldn't finish it. Uh, I mean, you certainly could, but it would be shorter ceilings. I don't think, I don't have a measuring tape, uh, but I don't think it would qualify as, uh, as living, living height. I think I was told by an inspector one time that minimum living height is six foot eight, six foot ten. For for minimum height for to be qualified as living space, 
If it, if it didn't qualify as living space, I wouldn't do it. But if you wanted to finish it just so that you had a nice space down there that you could use, you certainly could. Um, but yeah, so that's it for that. So check the property information page for the most up-to-date information on the property, any kind of price changes, any special incentives, any <laughs> open houses. Uh, you can find all that on the property information page. Please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week, anything else that I post on that platform. You could also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will have all of the videos that I'm posting across every platform. Plus a few things that are exclusive just to YouTube. So you can subscribe to YouTube to see all of that. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me. And please tune in again next time for the next walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now.